try and kill me? I didn't try and kill you. I was trying to show you something. You want to show me something? Show me your hand. What? Your hand. Show me your bloody hands now. You saw something, didn't you? Yeah. What? And he knows. What was it? Who's Penny? I don't know. Oh. You did. You felt it, didn't you? I didn't feel anything. Huh? Then why are you accosting a man in a dressing gown? <laughs> Come on, where we look? If I were you, I'd stop worrying about me. Start looking for Penny. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Sorry, but fuck. Charlie is so on it in this in this timeline. What do you mean he's gone? Must have been his near death experience. Mr. Hume, Charles told me so much about you. I like her brooches. Travesty we haven't met before. No, well, it's about time. Well, the feelings mutual, Mrs. Whitmore. Oh, please, it's Eloise. Eloise. <laughs> I'm deeply sorry, but it appears as if uh, Drive Shaft won't be able to perform alongside your son. And uh, look, I take full responsibility. Don't worry about it. Really? Excuse me? Oh, my son will understand. I suppose if one employs so-called rock stars, certain unpredictability comes with the territory. Yeah. Uh, Milton, Penny, Solo, Pepper, Nicholas. Penny? One. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, did you just say Penny? I work for Mr. Whitmore. May I see the list? You absolutely may not. That list is confidential. Begging your pardon, I, no, I'm entrusted with confidential items. Are you questioning me? Oh, no, no. no Back I away. Just want to look at one name on that list. And if for some reason that's a problem. Come with me. I've heard what you've had to say. Now you listen to me. I want you to stop. Stop? Stop what? Someone has clearly affected the way you see things. This is a serious problem. It is, in fact, a violation. What does she so, whatever say? You're doing, whatever it is you think you're looking for. What does she know? You need to stop looking for it. This is a deal. Everyone's getting their happy ending because she made a deal to create a like a pocket timeline to save everyone. Why is it the biggest mysteries always seem to uh, have Desmond involved in them? First time I saw her was walking through this museum a few weeks ago. She she works there. She was on her lunch break. Charlotte. She's eating a chocolate bar. It was like I already loved her. Yeah. They're getting That's these. They get. They're getting remnants, aren't they? Things got weird. That same night after I saw that woman. I woke up and I wrote this. Oh, that's your so what is that? time graph. I'm a musician. I have no idea. He said, this is quantum mechanics. He said, these equations are so advanced that only someone who'd been studying physics their entire life could have come up with them. So, and you just came up with them. So what do they mean? Okay, imagine. Imagine something terrible is about to happen, something catastrophic. And the only way to stop it from happening is to create is a new timeline. Releasing a huge amount of energy. No? Okay. Like setting off a nuclear bomb. What if this wasn't supposed to be our life? What if we had some other life? For some reason. We changed things. I don't want to set off a nuclear bomb, Mr. Young. I think I already did. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're all getting proper flashes from the other timeline. I don't know what any of this has to do with me. So why did you ask my mother about a woman named Penny? She's my half-sister. Oh, Penny does exist. Well, hey. And I can tell you exactly where and when you can find her. I'm so glad Penny exists in this timeline. 
A world without Penny isn't a world worth living in. And it's Penny that's training for the round the world yacht race. Are you Penny? Uh, yes. <laughs> Hello. This is awkward. <laughs> I'm Desmond. And that doesn't mean anything to her. Uh, hi. I'm really sorry we had to do this to you, Desmond. But as I told you, you're talent is vital to our mission. Yeah. So if you just let me explain. It's all right. I understand. What? I said I understand. And he does. You told me you brought me here to the island to do something very important. Yeah. When do we start? <laughs> Charles wasn't quite expecting that response, was he? Whatever. Doesn't change that you're gonna. Said. Run. Desmond, I don't have time to explain, but these people are extremely dangerous. We need to go now. I, of course. Lead the way. He's just going along with whatever at the moment. So, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah. Yes, George, I did. <sighs> Coda Melrose and Suiza, please. You got it. And if there's anything else I can do for you, Mr. Hume, you just name it. Actually, there is one thing, George. Can you get me the manifest for my flight from Sydney? Oceanic 815. Just the names of the passengers. Oh, what? Sure I can. I just need to show them something. Okay, hard to, uh... Hard not to see a lot of the parallels there going on. I'm not entirely sure whether I am more confused now or exactly the same amount of confused now than I was at the beginning of the episode or indeed at the beginning of the season or indeed at the beginning of the entire journey so okay then in the previous episode the package we saw uh, among other things the consequences of Jin having an illicit affair with the boss's daughter and at the end of this episode we have Desmond about to embark on the same journey um, this episode was a Desmond journey Everywhere he met and everyone he met along this journey in the sideways <laughs> was pushing this idea that they're getting an inkling of their previous existence, of their previous lives on the island, but big shocks. Now, Charlie was describing how after nearly choking or possibly definitely choking on the heroin bag of seeing Claire and instantly the love there that he had for her originally kicked off this sort of inkling that he, things weren't quite right and I wasn't sure whether it was the seeing Claire part or the near death part that triggered it then he ran Desmond off the road into the water and of course we saw Desmond get the, the flashes of Charlie's original death and the not Penny's boat and of course he doesn't know who Penny is in this timeline so that kicked off so it was the near death experience for, for Desmond that started this whole thing but then we have Daniel, and he describes his transition after seeing Charlotte and falling in love. Love at first sight, you know, that, that knowing that they had something going on in a previous life. So I'm not sure whether it was the falling in love bit or the near-death experience, or both, either. 
also in the um, in the timeline in the sideways timeline Desmond is working for Charles Charles is still married to Eloise Daniel is a concert pianist not a quantum physicist and Penny is training to do the sail around the world um, obviously the namaste poster that was in Charles's office is gone and it's been replaced with a painting of a set of scales equally balanced light and dark interesting I also found it rather odd that um, when we see Desmond driving around with George in virtually ev everywhere he needs to get to he takes the limousine the black limousine with George driving and I didn't recognize him as the communications officer on board the freighter in the original timeline didn't recognize him at all uh, but when he went to meet Charlie at the police station he took a, his own car a light colored car I think it was silver but light anyway so light dark why did he take his own car then and take the limousine in virtually every other trip anyway the big clue Eloise she knows what's going on she said that uh, Desmond looking for whatever he was looking for in this case Penny was a violation what does she mean by that a violation of rules she's still talking about the rules in which case what what is this is it like a safety timeline they've chucked all the main all the all the important characters into this fantasy timeline where I wouldn't say all of them are living their, their dreams but some of them definitely are I don't know I don't know it's, it's, it's not the same for everyone is it really a lot of them their life's going downhill very quickly yeah I'm not sure about that but Ed always did say yeah that oh, I don't know and then Daniel he starts writing quantum theory um, equations that he shouldn't know of being a concert pianist so um, I'm still no I'm still no clearer and I've just watched this episode again a second time and I still can't so the bomb went off some of our people were transported forward in time to where they belonged um, a couple died and this new timeline has been created but it's not keeping them safe because they're still on the island this is a completely alternative to I don't know what this is I don't know I really don't <sighs> I thought I thought I might have an inkling by this point I really did episode 11 can't be that far away from big starting to get big reveals of exactly what's going on and I can't even hazard a guess the whole Dharma thing and all that that's easy but the Jacob and, and I, I, we need another Jacob and man in black we need more information about them because that's where it's all pivoted that's what the whole thing is all about and everything else is just distractions uh, or rules or strategy but the big thing is the man in black getting off the island why does that spell doom uh, when Charles described it he didn't say that everyone everyone would die they, he said that they would cease to exist so maybe it's like the man in black gets off the island and then this sideways timeline becomes the real timeline that doesn't that doesn't fit with everything does it and we still don't know what the candidates are for yeah, they're, they're to become the new Jacob, I understand that, but what does that entail? 
you know, Jacob has powers. Jacob has abilities. Do those powers and abilities transfer to the new person? Um, was Jacob the first, or was is Jacob actually originally the new who somebody else? Jacob could be one in a long line of guardians. I've said this before. I've said this before. And is is Jacob the guardian, or is he the prisoner? Have have I got this all wrong? And it's actually. No, no. I mean, d during the episode, I keep saying that, you know, don't follow the man in black, go for Jacob. But I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that's the right strategy at all. No, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not any clearer, am I? I'm not any, anywhere near where I should be here at this point. Or where I thought I should be at this point. Oh, well... Ah, uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.